Master Jesus. Context of Christ's Coming, Healing and Transfiguration, January 2, 2017, by Christine Preston. Christine. Today we need to go back to a message given by the Master Jesus on November 1, 2015, when he announced the fitting of the solar garments and explained how the solar garments weaved for the souls like an ascension suit, will produce healing for us from within. When you walk upon the path of ascension and receive initiations as explained in previous videos, the process of healing becomes amplified and is going to be accelerated with our moving deeper into fourth density in this period of transition. But at first in the following extract the Master Jesus told me what happened in what we might call the beginning of time when he first came to this world. Extract from Lord Jesus the Christ, announcing the ascension suit. November 1, 2015 Master Jesus. A long time ago I was in the spirit of the great white brotherhood that is the consciousness of the Christ in a world far beyond the confines of this galaxy. It was a galaxy in a much higher dimension than the one we are in now. I was troubled when I saw the carnage and devastation that the reptilians of Orion were causing to literally millions of worlds. They had been doing this for quite a while by the time this came to my attention and it reached a point at which I decided to lower my vibrations to become involved in a rescue mission of this Milky Way galaxy. In order to do so I descended in a series of forms, creating them one after the other, till I had lowered my consciousness into an etheric vehicle that you might call an incarnation as a Kumara being. Yes, I am the Christ, or consciousness of the Christ in the Kumara beings who are resident in a higher form, or dimension, upon the planet Venus. We descended further into material form many thousands of years ago, of your real time, into the realms of planet Earth. This doesn't include the story of the solar beings whom we all call Archangels, and who exist in their higher form in the great central sun at the center of this galaxy, and have lowered their vibration into a high form of existence in the spiritual sun within, or beyond the actual physical sun of this solar system. They also took form among the Kumaras who existed and still do exist upon the planet Venus, and created soul extensions that incarnated on Earth. Together we incarnated in an ancient race upon Earth and lowered the images and patterns of our higher ethereal DNA, and we created a beautiful race of beings who were gigantic by comparison to the present stature of the bodies which present mankind occupies. We created a wondrous Golden Age civilization called Lemuria. We were able to achieve this during a certain interim of time after the Galactic Federation of Light had recovered control of the solar system, as the latter had been attacked after the initial attempt to create civilization upon Earth. This is not the complete story of why Earth was chosen but I will just say that it was known that it would play a key role in the salvation of the galaxy. As I said, the whole of this galaxy had been devastated by wars and relentless reptilian attacks. One by one they had taken over planets on the lower dimensions of materiality. They had taken control of vast areas of the universe and had an agenda of conquest that was so abominable that it may be beyond your capabilities to attempt to gain some understanding of it all. Following some meetings we held at higher council levels a plan was masterminded that included the restoration of the timelines to manifest divine will. The scheme was well coordinated. We went back in time and created the Golden Age of Lemuria after the solar system was made secure. The Galactic Federation of Light had recovered control after many battles, and unfortunately, an accident occurred and the planet Maldek was blown up in the orbit between Mars and Jupiter. There were reptilians upon that planet and it was why the Galactic Federation of Light was engaged in conflicts that resulted with this devastation. They were the reptilians that had destroyed the very first colony. The Earth had been colonized by a branch of galactic beings, who had evolved over millions of years, and who therefore had a spiritual connection with the galactic brothers and sisters who are assisting with ascension. Their first Syrian colony, as I mentioned before, was devastated by attacks from the reptilians of Orion but control of the solar system was recovered and a new peace permitted civilization to flourish once again, but only for a few hundred thousands years, and it was called Lemuria. It was this civilization that left evidence of a high global culture. There were pockets of this surviving culture here and there on Earth even after the time the Atlanteans had carried out their wars of conquest. The survivors of the Lemurian civilization had a connection with those individuals who created the Agarthan Kingdom. The culture of Lemuria was spiritual and beautiful, 
and it was in comparatively more recent times that a decline set in after the Atlanteans attempted to gain supremacy over the whole world. Initiators were sent to the Atlanteans and a program of ascension was set up with mystery schools about which there are some recollections under symbolic images in many scriptures and traditions. However, there was corruption in Atlantean society due to the presence of certain souls that had been permitted to incarnate on Earth after Maldek had been destroyed. After the last island of Atlantis was submerged, pockets of the Lemurian culture continued existing as well as some pockets of negative Atlantean influence in parts of the world where they had hegemony. The Anunnaki now played a role of control, both in the occult and physical levels after that time of cataclysmic events, which marked the end of the Atlantean civilization. Christine You said you were troubled and descended in form. Could you enlarge on this Master Jesus? I was troubled because I could see the threat that this situation represented for the galaxy, other galaxies, as well as the universe. I am Christ, the consciousness of higher realms that you are going to experience as you raise yourselves in the process of ascension. So I, in the person of the Kumaras and other higher beings, came up with a plan of ascension of raising the material plane of the galaxy to a level that would be beyond the reach of the corrupt ones. I could see that their corruption imprisoned the souls of the people whose worlds had been hurled into a spiral of decadence by the law of cause and effect. It was a spiral of miscreation that ended nowhere but in pain, suffering and death. My mission consisted in putting an end to this vicious circle and I brought Christ consciousness to the soul, and it was to be made available in the process of ascension, after a scheme consisting in the eradication of the Antichrist forces which we have been overcoming both by strategies of the light and strategies pertaining to the Armageddon of the soul. Light consumes darkness. Christ consciousness is the light body descending now in the process of ascension. It is the power that changes mankind's DNA, in coordination with the effects of the photonic light and of the stargate the solar system has penetrated on September 28 this year. Archangel Michael has explained that it was possible to enter the Stargate in a way that would be beneficial to all of mankind for the stripping off of unwanted elements so that certain changes can take place. The objective is peace and a gradual disclosure concerning the truths that have been suppressed. What I have alluded to in my historical background hardly scratches the surface of the iceberg, never mind the invisible part of it which will be exposed in the peak of disclosure that will take place in coming months to mankind. The announcement that I wanted to make is that there is to be a physical effect in this ascension, in the not too far future as some among the light workers who are ready for the ascension are being fitted with the solar body suit of ascension. It is an etheric envelope or garment. In previous ages, for comparison, when the ascension was taking place after death, the soul was taken out of its mortal astral and mental envelopes, or vehicles. It was then given its wedding garment, the solar garment of ascension, for the reintegration with Christ consciousness. The metaphor has indeed been used that the soul is the bride of Christ. You may get mental images or perceptions during this operation, especially if you have acquired psychic abilities such as the one for telepathic communication which is accompanied of perceptions. The practice of the visualization of the tube of light and solar ring ties you to Christ consciousness. The more you practice it the more you may be able to experience a perception of what is taking place at the spiritual or auric level while the angels work on you. When you are out of the body and receive healing, this healing eventually manifests in a physical way. Many of you are experiencing healing at this time. My announcement is with regard to the fact that waves of light workers, people who are ready for the ascension, and are integrating Christ consciousness will be fitted with the body suit of ascension that will be replacing a thin layer of your astral body. This solar garment will then manifest a gradual transfiguration in your physical body. This is how the light workers will start being healed, gain further enlightenment, and go through a process of rejuvenation that will literally amount to transfiguration. Other people will start noticing the changes and will ask themselves questions. Eventually they will want to follow in the footsteps of the light workers and this will give the latter opportunities to take part in more disclosure, or to impart teachings to humanity. Then the body suit of ascension will be fitted upon more souls and in this way we can still talk in terms of waves of ascension. So this was my update and good news for you. I am Jesus, I am in your heart and with you always, releasing to you my eternal blessings.